Andrew, you ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm oh, good. All right. Let's do this thing. Yeah. Let's record. All right. Oh, mask, of course. Hey, everybody. What? What? What's going on? Uh, who are you? Kieran, it's uh, me. You literally uh, just saw no, me. No, no. I know Kieran. Kieran has a beard. Yeah, and you can shave. You me. don't have a beard. Uh, you can shave. You're an imposter. What? No. You're I an swear. imposter. I'm not, I'm not I don't imposter. believe you. Yo, Is we're, we're going to kick you out. No, no. We're going to no. eject you out of no, here. No. Get out. Hey, families, want to let you know about something super cool happening this week called Skill Labs. Skill Labs is a fully online group that we've started for you and your family, and it's awesome. You're gonna learn some new skills like baking, or making something super sweet, or even learning some science experiments or some other awesome things. Make sure you check out the link right over here and scan it and take a look. We'd love to have you join us, but for now, let's take a look at the video. See you later. Welcome back to the lab. We are so stoked that you are here today. My name is Kieran. And I'm Andrew. And we are enjoying another lab day because today we're talking about something new. Last week we started talking about it and this week it's the same thing, right? Yeah. This week we're talking about off stage, which means drop the act. Boom. Drop it. The act is now on the table. Okay, well, what are we talking about then? Well, we have a central word that we're gonna be talking about this whole month, and that's integrity. And integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Wait, wait, I'm putting together pieces. Whatever you say and whatever you do. Yeah. So your words uh -huh. and your actions coming together, being the same person being at the all times. Always. That's crazy. Well, you know what? We're talking about a verse as well. The Bible talks all about this. And in Galatians 5.25, it says this. Since we're living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Every part? Every single part. Not just those times when you think people are watching you, but also those times when you think you're kind of by yourself. Are you going to be the same person that you say you are, or are they going to be two different people? Oh man, that, that seems like a lot to live up to. Yeah, but don't worry, we have help because God is with us every step of the way. Wow. We'll be talking about all of that and more, but first, I'm, I'm feeling kind of hungry. I'm gonna go get a snack now. Okay, I'll beat you there soon. Okay, see ya. Hey, snack time. What do we got in here? What do we got? Oh. Hey, rat, it's going. Doritos. Oh, oh, good stuff. Yeah. Pretty clean. <gasps> wait a second. I have chocolate in the next room. That's wait up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Karen. Oh, my snacks. I forgot that I had. What is this? Andrew! Andrew, come here, quick! This is what? what happened! What? This so all my snack is gone. Do you know what happened? Someone was here! Someone took this snack on uh, purpose! It, uh, it was it was probably probably a mistake. Don't be ridiculous! Do you see this? This cool is sitting here! It was probably something happened! It was probably probably a mistake. We have to find the monster who did this. Well, we have to make it! A we have to go find them! Come on, let's go! Did I take Kieran's chips? No, I, I would never do that. Look, man, these chips are labeled, okay? They, they said Kieran's chips, they said they were mine, and there's no reason that anybody should have had this. What is going on? I have to find this thing. So, Josh? Yes? You know what? Something fishy been happening. Well, I, I I'm I missing some Doritos. There was a snack laid out for me that was beautiful, and it is gone. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know. I got things to do, man. Josh, where are my Doritos? This is ridiculous. I have to find this first. Karen, I don't know if this is the best idea. I don't know if it's the best idea. Someone took my snack. We have to find them. Well, uh, but Karen, like, it's just, it doesn't cost that much, right? Oh dear. Do I make it a habit of stealing other people's food? I, what are you trying to get out there? I mean, I, well, 
It depends on what you mean by stealing. Good. Amanda, Hi. Amanda, I want to know, do you happen to know anything about some Doritos that might have went missing about five minutes ago? No, not at all. <laughs> Definitely not. Our, this isn't a laughing matter. I'm being very serious right now. Amanda, where is the Doritos? Kieran, I have nothing for you. What do you mean? There's <laughs> nothing. Andrew, who? Do, 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 are you, are you, are you sure it's, I don't, I don't think there's a lot of evidence. Someone for... has taken these Doritos and I have to know who. Well, do you have to? Who else is it? Okay, okay, fine. I have to tell someone. It, it was me. <laughs> uh, I took Kieran's chips. Wait, what? You, I took it back here. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, Inspired by the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verse 9. One of Jesus' closest friends, the Apostle John, shared important words from God in one of his letters. But God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, He will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. Let's see how this truth might play out today. Tori could barely contain her excitement when she showed her dad the small plastic rectangle with her face on it, her brand new driver's license. See, I can drive myself now. If you had a car. Mom said I can borrow her car some days. If you pay for gas. If I pay for gas. Cell phone. Phone off while I'm driving. Tori held up her phone and shut it off. That's right, and. No passengers, no driving after 9 p.m., Full stop at every stop sign, music at a moderate volume. I got it. I guess you do. So can I borrow mom's car to go play tennis with Keisha? Please? Be home by nine. Thanks, dad. Even though Tori had been driving with her mom and dad for months now, her stomach did a flip when she first started the car. Driving carefully out of the driveway, her hands white knuckled on the steering wheel for the first mile until she pulled into the spot in the tennis courts at the high school. She was almost relaxed. Her best friend, Keisha, waved. <laughs> nice park job. Tori hopped out and checked her spacing. Yeah, okay, I'm a little crooked, but there's no one else here. The two friends played for more than an hour before Tori checked time. Oops, gotta get home. By the time Tori had stowed out her gear and fiddled with the temperature controls, Keisha was already gone. Here goes. As Tori backed the car out of the spot, she reached over to adjust the radio. I cannot deal with mom's music. Oh no. Tori braked fast. She put the car in park and hopped out. She had just hit the light pole and left a small dent in the bumper. It's not very big. Tori reached for her phone to call dad, but she had already turned off her phone for the drive. I I'll just tell them when I get home. Tori stayed tense the whole way home. Oh, they'll never let me borrow the car again but it's just a small dent, and mom's car is really old anyway. Dad was working on his Jeep in the garage when Tori pulled in. Hey, sweetie, how was it? Tori opened up her mouth to tell dad about the dent, but she couldn't seem to do it. Fine, great. My serve's getting a lot better. Tori avoided mom too. She tried to go straight to her room and read, but she couldn't focus. I might as well go to bed. Most evenings, Tori used a gratitude app on her phone as a reminder to thank God for the good things in her day. Uh, Friday, let's see. But Tori didn't want to think about her day or talk to God at all. Finally, she turned off the light, but even so, she couldn't fall asleep. Next morning, she came down to find dad making French toast. Maple syrup or strawberries and whipped cream? Both, where's mom? 
She went out to get groceries. Should be back any minute. As Tori sat down to her favorite breakfast, memories of the dented bumper started flooding back. I guess I'm not really that hungry right now. The garage door opened. Mom shouldered her way inside, carting heavy groceries. Would you believe it? Someone dinged my bumper in the parking lot and took off. Tori's heart sank. She wished she could simply disappear. Did you see it happen? No, and they didn't leave a note. Hit and run. I'll take a look. Uh, Mom? Mom glanced up and saw Tori. Hi, Tor. I didn't mean to rain on your morning. What's up? Uh, nothing. I, I mean, I, I'm going to go out and rake some leaves. That would be super helpful. Rakes against the back wall. Tori couldn't meet Mom's eyes when she walked out the door. She raked as hard and as fast as she could, but she couldn't sweep away what happened. It's not like I lied, ex exactly. Oh, who am I kidding? Unlocking her phone, Tori scrolled through her messages for a message from her small group leader, Lisa, that she'd sent weeks ago. Wanted to share. Oh, here's the verse. But God is faithful and fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have done. He will make us pure. Tori scanned the verse again and sighed. She dropped her rake and plopped right in the middle of her leaf pile. So, um, God, I really messed up. I mean, you know all about it, but I dented mom's car and I hid the truth. I lied. I'm really sorry. As Tori lay in the scratchy leaves, staring up at the bright blue sky, she felt a sense of peace for the first time all day. Thank you, God. After a few minutes, Tori scrambled to her feet, brushed the leaves off, and went towards the house. Mom, Dad, there's something I have to tell you. Tori knew she'd be paying to fix the car, and she might lose driving privileges for a while but it was worth the cost to know she wasn't hiding the truth anymore. So the verse we're talking about this week is this. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So what does that mean, Kieran? You know what, it says this, that when we confess, when we talk about the things that we did wrong, we talk about them to God, He actually forgives us for those different things. That God says that when you're truthful with God, it keeps you close to Him. Wow, that's, that's, that would have been so great if I'd known that before. You know what, Andrew, that's totally fine. Mistakes are part of life. You know what's also part of life? It's learning how to apologize really, really well. And so we have a few different things that you can do to learn how to apologize to people really well, whether that be to other people or to God. Exactly. And the first of these three things is being personal. So you say what you did wrong and you go up to them on your own. You go and talk to them in person if you can. And that's the best way to give an apology. It's true. Second thing is this, be specific. When we talk about something, don't just say, oh, I'm sorry for what I did. Say it, I'm so sorry for eating your candy bar, or I'm sorry that I hurt you in that way. Would you please forgive me? And the third thing is do it often. We make mistakes every single day. So the best thing that we can do is to apologize for what we've done wrong every single day. Right, make it a habit because that is gonna help you be the best person that you can be. And guess what? It's gonna keep you closer to God. And that is the best thing ever. Exactly. So I think I think we should close it off with some prayer. I think that's the best thing we can do. I'd say so. So let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray. Dear God, thank you so much that we can learn about you at the lab online. Thank you so much that you forgive our sins and that you love us no matter what. Thank you so much that we get to learn about integrity and about how to live our lives. And I pray that when it's hard to have integrity this week and weeks to come, that you'd be with us there. We love you so much, God. Thank you so much for all that you've given us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, have an awesome week, and we will see you next time. Bye! Later!
This is my play, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe And keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I fix my eyes on you This is my focus All of my days I know where my hope is I live it loud I shot the chorus Because I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on looking For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes, eyes. I'll fix my eyes on you